Hello everybody, my name is Tomasz and welcome back to our channel. In this video we will cover a forward pivot action in the natural pivots that start from the low position. First let's start with what is a pivot. Here the definitions really vary, but our definition is that pivot is a turn on your foot up to 180 degrees, so half a turn, and it redirects you from forward to backward step or from backward to forward step. So as a simple example, I will be walking forward and in some moment I will have pivot and I will continue going backward. So you can clearly see that I was making few steps forward, I had a pivot up to half a turn, which I did have a turn, and then I continued walking backward. And in pivot, we usually change the direction of the movement. So we usually start forward, end up backwards, or start backwards, end up forward. Now, even with continuous pivots, which we will not do today, the principle will remain the same. So we'll go from forward step to backward step, from backward step to forward step. We'll just do the pivot after every single step. There are different kinds of pivots. We have a natural pivot, we have reverse pivots, we have pivots that start in the low position, and we have pivots that start on the high position, and we go from the top and lower. In this video, we will cover the natural pivots, starting in a low position, and only the forward bit. In that moment, it will be very helpful to revisit our video about the driving step forward and driving step backward, as the principles that are discussed there will be very helpful in this video. You will find the link in the description below. Okay, so when we talk about the pivot, you have to understand that we'll be blending, like in a CBM action, a step and the turn together in one motion. Now what happens in the pivot is that we have so much turn that our foot will be forced to turn and therefore we can continue from forward to backward or from backward to forward step. So let's talk about the forward pivot that will turn into a backward step. Now I will start on the left leg, quite low, my right foot will be going forward. Now the first thing I have to do is have a wind up in my body, I have to have my foot in direction of my next step and during the first step I have to apply a CBM action so a body rotation to the right and a step with the right foot forward into the middle of the step. Now in the middle of that step my right foot has to be in front of my right hip, my body has to be exactly squared up with the turn, the next thing I have to do is I have to continue turning my body to the right. Now in a normal step I would turn probably up to an eighth, sometimes less, sometimes an eighth. Now in the pivot, I will have to turn my body so much that it will cause my foot to overturn and therefore I can continue going backward. So I will turn my body, 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 turn my body and that will cause my foot to turn. From here, notice that my body remains slightly underturned. So in the moment of the pivot, I turned my foot much more than my body. But we'll go to the actual pivot in a second. From here, I will continue turning my body to the right like in a normal CBM action and making the step into 50-50. And that's pretty much where we will stop because what happens after is related to uh, each individual figure. Let's dive in into the pivot itself. So the pivoting action on your right foot. The first thing you have to understand that when we have a pivot from a step forward, the footwork is a heel toe heel. And it's very important to execute it correctly, but also to understand why does it have to be a heel toe heel. Now with a very small step and just a demonstration, naturally if it's a driving step, it has to be done with the heel forward. So therefore that's a natural heel. Now, when we turn on our foot, so when we have a pivot, the easiest way to do it is on the toe. If you try to turn on your flat foot, that would make it very difficult to do. So the easiest way to turn our body is on the toe. Therefore, we have to move our weight into the toe and allow the heel to slightly lift. It will be probably still skimming on the floor, but we will not have any weight on that heel, just to allow our foot to turn on the ball of the foot. Now, when we on that toe and we turn and do the pivot, 
then we have to place the heel down the moment we finish and uh, put our foot in the correct direction. So that heel, similarly as a weight change in the heel turn, will help us stop the turn and allow us to relax the knee and use our joint to create the next driving step or just the next step. So it's very important not just to know the footwork, but to also understand how to apply it correctly. So we are stepping forward from the heel, we are turning on the toe and we're using our heel to stop the turn in our feet and start moving backward to exit the pivot. Another thing we have to understand about pivots is that we do them and we do it in the natural rotation. We want to have always our upper part of the body continuously turning throughout the pivot to the right which means we don't want any moment that there is either no rotation or reverse rotation that will be even worse. So just to show it again in very simple example and small steps, I will start turning, continue turning and turn up till the next step. Whatever happens after is already a different figure. It's very important to understand that in order to achieve that smoothness and continuity of the turn, we have to spread the turn and separate the turn between the feet and the upper part. We cannot just turn everything the same at the same time in one block because that would make us look very stiff. So let's show you exactly how it's done. So again, I will start low on my left foot. I will go with the right foot forward. Notice that the first thing that will happen is I will start turning my body. And like we said before, that turn will happen into the 50-50 of the step. Now from here, I will start turning my body, but that turn of the body will change into the turn of the foot. So there will be a moment that I have to stop the turn of my body and allow my foot to overturn. So again, I will turn and overturn my foot. So please notice that in that moment, even though that my body continuously turns through the pivot, I'm in very good position because I have underturned body in relation to my foot, which means I can very easily continue the rotation the same way. If I finished with my body squared to my foot, I would now go backward and for the half a step I will have no turn in my body. Not only that will create a problem in the couple, but it will also make you look very heavy and quite stiff. Now the last thing we will discuss is the head change. In the forward action and the natural pivot, we actually can, but we don't have to, change the head from left to right. Now that has to happen exactly when the right foot is pivoting. If you don't do it by then, we would strongly recommend not to do it at all. So again, if I just show it, I will have my head to the left, I will continue having my head to the left, continue having my head to the left, continue having my head to the left. The moment I start overturning my body that will cause my foot to overturn, I can turn my head. Now that head has to finish the turn by the time that my heel is placed again on the floor. And now again in the backward step, I can either continue having my head to the right if I want to, or I can start turning the head to the left. Of course, if you want to keep it simple and just have your head to the left, it's absolutely fine. Don't feel or think that your marks on the competition will be lower just because of one head change. It will be probably because of the execution of the pivot itself. So try to focus on the pivot and the action, the rotation, the coordination between both of you and then try to think whether the head change fits you or doesn't. It's really, really small detail, but from our experience, people do tend to pay a lot of attention to that head change. That's it for today. Thank you all for watching. In the next video, we will cover the natural forward pivots going backward, so the backward action. As always, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you have any comments, please put them in the section below and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.